hello everyone in today's video we will be seeing this question from the year 2004 so in this question we have to define the strength of a magnetic shell and then calculate the magnetic potential at any neighboring point and lastly we have to see whether a potential depends upon the shape so let's start so let's first understand what is magnetic shell so it is basically a polar sheet of a magnetic material of uniform thickness magnetized in the direction perpendicular to the surface of the shell as you can see this is the shell the top surface of the shell is having a north polarity and the other one is south polarity and the tau is the thickness this is the thickness of the shell and this is the area a and this is the normal to the surface so this is the direction of magnetization this capital m so the shape of the sheet can be plain curved circular it can be a spherical shell also so let's first define the strength so this shell can be considered as a large number of magnetic dipoles dipoles placed close to each other with length of dipole is equal to the thickness of the shell so the strength of magnetic shell is magnetic moment which we will denote with a small m over area it's the magnetic moment per unit area and we know that magnetization which is a capital m is magnetic moment per unit volume so we can write this volume as area into thickness the thickness is tau so let's substitute for magnetic moment over here so we can write the magnetic moment as magnetization into volume so we will substitute it in this so our strength which we will denote with phi so we will denote this magnetic strength with phi so we can write the strength by substituting the magnetic moment so this is magnetization area into thickness over area we can cancel this area down so strength can be defined as a magnetization times the thickness so it's a product of these two so this is our strength of the shell so now let's solve for the potential so let's find the potential due to magnetic shell at any neighboring point p so let's consider this magnetic shell of strength phi let p be the point at a distance r from the small element da around o and this is a normal and this is making an angle of theta with op and omega is the solid angle for this small element da so let's find out the magnetic moment we know strength is equal to magnetic moment over area so the magnetic moment of element da is phi times da this magnetic moment is along op now if you find this magnetic moment along on so this will be a projection so the magnetic moment will become phi da cos theta so we can write the potential due to this small element da as dv is equal to mu naught over 4 pi the magnetic moment which is phi da cos theta and this is over r square 
so this is a potential due to this small element so this is a potential due to our small element and we know this da cos theta over r square is our solid angle subtended by the small element da at point p so we can replace this da cos theta over r square by d omega so this becomes mu naught over 4 pi phi d omega so we can integrate this so we have to integrate all such elements so the potential becomes mu naught over 4 pi since we have taken a uniform magnetic shell so our phi will be constant so this will be d omega so we can write this as mu naught 4 pi phi omega so this is the solid angle subtended by entire shell at point p so our potential will be mu naught over 4 pi phi omega so this is our second part so let's move to the last part does the potential depends upon the shape of the shell so let's see this so this is our potential expression so here we can see that our potential depends upon solid angle and we know our solid angle depends upon two things first is the relative distance of an object from the point of observation this is R and secondly a solid angle depends upon the the configuration of its symmetrical shape with respect to a given point in space let's see with an example here we are taking the two shells two spherical shells and we are taking the point of observation one in the interior and in the other case we are taking the point outside by taking the two different point of observation so our solid angle is different so it's not basically or totally depends upon the shape but it also depends upon the point from where we are observing that solid angle and this is another example of infinitely plane sheet so when we take the point p here so our solid angle is 2 pi so so this is a different shape we are having a different solid angle so it basically depends upon the geometrical shape plus the point of observation so this is it for this video if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box and if you have any other doubts you can ask me and if you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video